Hey everybody, welcome to Post to Post. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Neil. If you're new and I love having you here, whether you're new or whether you're old or whether you're, you know, just been with me for a month, I appreciate you. This is the selfish version of the bracket. Uh, I've already done my actual prediction in the bracket video. Go check that out if you haven't. Not that it's realistic and that I think I'm right. Definitely going to be wrong. But this is the selfish version. This is how I want the playoffs to unfold as far as which te teams I want to be other teams, which teams I like the most, and that stuff. So we're going to walk through the whole bracket. It's going to be really quick, guys. It's not going to be a long video. And I'm going to tell you uh, who I want to make it to the end. Now, I'm a Montreal Canadiens fan, so straight away, I'm just going to tell you that I want the Montreal Canadiens to win the Stanley Cup. So whoever they face, they're just going to beat them. That's spoiler alert. Sorry. Uh, here we go. Okay. So on the West, we've got Colorado versus St. Louis. Uh, I love Colorado, and uh, they have to beat St. Louis. St. Louis just won a cup, so they've, they've got to win here. I, I need them to go deep as one of my favorite teams. Uh, Vegas versus Minnesota. This one's difficult because I would say, I would consider that I like Minnesota, or I like Vegas more than Minnesota, but this year, I've really, really loved watching Minnesota. They are the underdog. I love underdog stories. So it's one, this one is actually generally heartbreaking for me to make a decision on but i'm going to choose the vegas golden knights because they have a really special place in my heart so colorado moves on uh the vegas golden knights move on and of those two uh, again vegas has a special place in my heart uh colorado's technically already won a cup or two it's difficult i would say that i like colorado more but again vegas has that special place in my heart so I'm actually going to choose Vegas over Colorado, which is maybe not something a lot of you would predict if you knew me. So I'm going to say Vegas over Colorado, and Vegas makes it to the conference finals. And now moving down, we've got the Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Montreal Canadiens. Obviously, it's the Montreal Canadiens, as I said at the beginning. Um, moving on. Edmonton Oilers, for, Ed, geez, long day. Edmonton Oilers versus the Winnipeg Jets. I think this one is uh, close as well. I would say that I like Winnipeg more, but I really want to see McDavid win, so it's a tough decision here. I'd probably choose... I'm going to say Edmonton, because I think a, a, a seeing McDavid more in the playoffs is really good for hockey in general. So let's move Edmonton on there. So Edmonton would face Montreal. Again, I want Montreal to win. Montreal will go to the conference finals. And I know things get reseeded a little bit, but by the way this bracket is set up, uh, we'll just have it Montreal versus Vegas. And uh, choose Montreal, obviously. So Montreal's going to the finals. Now we've got Pittsburgh and the Islanders on the other side. And while Pittsburgh has just won a ton of cups recently, I is such an easy decision for me. It would be the Islanders. I think I watch enjoying Pittsburgh more. No offense, Islanders fans, but I think I watch enjoying every team in the NHL more than the Islanders. They're a fairly boring team to watch. But I do like them a lot more than the Penguins. So Islanders, moving on. Capitals versus the Bruins. As a Canadiens fan, uh, you know I'm not real high on the Bruins, but individually there's a lot of players in the team that I absolutely love, so I don't not necessarily turn against them. And Capitals just won as well, so this one's difficult. This one's difficult. I have, a, I have to choose a team that either just won or a team that I like a lot of players individually. I'm going to choose Boston, I think, um, because the Capitals won recently. Let's give Boston another shot. I know they had the opportunity a couple of years ago against St. Louis, but let's see what happens and let's move them on. So the Islanders versus the Boston Bruins, easy one for me. I'm picking the Islanders to move on to that conference final. Carolina versus Nashville. I like the underdog story. I like a lot of players on Nashville, but I really love the structure and the team of the Carolina Hurricanes. I, they're so far up my list of teams that I enjoy. It's not even funny. So uh, Hurricanes moving forward. The Panthers versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa just won, easy one for me. Florida, moving on. Florida versus Carolina. I would say that, you know, three or four years ago, I would say that I like Florida more, but Florida get rid of Gallant, my favorite coach, so that hurts. So I'm going to go with Carolina here, Carolina over Florida. That makes Carolina versus the Islanders in the conference finals. Of the two teams, I would say that I probably like Carolina more. Um, so let's, let's move Carolina past the Islanders. That means Carolina versus the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, and there we go. Uh, a rematch from the 2006 Stanley Cup second round? First round? Second round, I think. And yeah, so Montreal would win there. Uh, not the, Montreal would lose there, but in my mind, in my heart, Montreal would win there. So Montreal Canadiens as my Stanley Cup champions is what I want to happen, and, de and they would defeat uh, Carolina. That's probably not the most enjoyable matchup that I would choose. But uh, it is one that played out in this specific bracket. Again, I think 
the conference finals reseed or something after the, the two rounds are over. But uh, this, the bracket that I'm looking at doesn't have that ability to be flexible. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. What is your selfish bracket? Leave it down below in the comment section if you want to type it all out. I would love to look at it. And I hope you guys are having a really good day. Hope you're watching hockey, lots of playoff ho hockey and having fun. And I'll catch you guys in the future. Subscribe if you're not. All right, guys, catch you later. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.